How you guys doing? And thanks for tuning in to Wicked Warnings. We're over here on the tailgate talking about Phoenix products today. This is a video in a three video series where we've got some products here that were sent in by our good friend over at Phoenix, which we are direct with right now. So if you ever have any Phoenix needs, make sure you email us and they sent us some product over, uh, just kind of give you an overall review on it. Uh, this is from their Amber Essentials line. We're not going to keep this product. We're going to give this all away to our fans uh, because it was given to us. Phoenix was nice enough to send it to us to kind of ask us what we thought of it. So we're going to do exactly that. I'm going to show it to you, and then we're going to give it to you. So this is their beacon. What do I like about the beacon? Size. It's decent. You can get a small, small beacon. Some of them are no bigger than a hockey puck, and that's cool if that's what you need. However, if you want something noticeable, that's really going to have a hard time fitting the bill. This beacon's decent sized. You know, it's not overly large. It's a grown man's hand right there. So as far as size, I like it. It's big enough that it's noticeable and it's going to do a good job. The other thing that I like about it is it's got a rubber base. Now this has got magnets in there. You can kind of see them. One, two, three. These are some probably rare earth magnets or something underneath there. But it's in an all rubber base that you can get so it doesn't mar up the roof of your vehicle okay it's got your standard cigarette cord on it just like any other beacon but it's a nice amber beacon got your on off got your pattern it's all you really need of course you could chop this off and put it on a switch if you really need it but with the magnet base this is nice and compact it's easy to put back into the box if you need to store it when you're not working and it's great for some of the smaller platforms but what we're going to try it on we're going to put it on a brand new raptor that's right, our shop is full of Fords at the moment, and the Mustang has a soft top, so we're going to have to put it over on this Raptor, and we're just going to kind of ignore the fact that the roof is glass for this demonstration. But I want to show you what it looks like on a vehicle, kind of spread out in a shop here at Wicked Warnings, and uh, why not throw it on a brand new Raptor? That's cool, right? So let's throw it on there. Alrighty, so there it is, right up on top of the Raptor. I ignore some of those other lights that we did on the truck while it was here at Wicked Warnings. There's your beacon light right up there. It does a real good job. Uh, it's real, like I say, small and easy and nice, easily portable, easy to put away. Um, and that rubber magnet base won't hurt your paint at all. So if this suits your needs, go ahead and uh, pay attention because you can enter to win this beacon light um, and maybe have it on top of your vehicle. Here's a little side shot. You can see that beacon doing a good job. You can see it bouncing off the wall. Uh, just overall, nice package. Got a lot of patterns. I like it. I can't say anything real bad about it. Um, so as far as that beacon, that's what it looks like on an F-150. And make sure you pay attention right now because we're going to put in a little bit of a blurb about how to win that thing because I'm giving it away. Phoenix let us check it out. We checked it out. We showed you what it looks like, and now we're going to give it to one of you. So um, follow the directions on how to win this beacon, and then it'll be sitting on top of your vehicle. Thanks for watching. Wicked Warnings.